All right, here we're gonna take a look at pastel pencils and I'm gonna draw one of my favorite things to draw, which is an eye. And I apologize for this being so quick, um, but the entire drawing ended up taking me over 30 minutes. And I want you to be able to get all the important stuff as quickly as possible. So I'm starting out here and I drew first with a dark brown pencil and then I'm going over the top of the eye or the pupil area with a blue to make more of a natural black. And I do go in and add a little bit of black on top of that just to make it darker. You wanna to try to stay away from black as much as possible, but sometimes it's just unavoidable. Now what I'm doing here is I'm working in the pupil and I'm looking at the different colors that happen in the pupil. I have a photo reference that I'm looking at here. And I'm trying to layer those colors with the pattern that I see inside of the eye. So I'm just putting a little bit of color down, trying to make the pattern putting a little bit more color down, a different color, mimicking the pattern. And I'm, I'm paying attention to the values, the dark and light areas as I put that in. And I'm trying to develop some complex color. So I'm using different types of blue, some blue green, um, some lighter blues, some darker blues. And then I'm gonna take my white pastel and kind of blend those together a little bit and lighten up some of the areas to create some of the highlights. This last step right here on the pupil is gonna really create the illusion of that pattern that you see when you're really close to somebody's eye. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the white areas around the eye. Now, that area around the eye isn't ever purely white. So I'm gonna add a little bit of blue in there and a little bit of brown actually to make the eyeball actually look like it's round inside. It's very important to do. Then we go back over the top of it with white and let those colors blend. A little bit of red, a little bit of pink happening. And then the tear duct, of course, is gonna be a little bit of pink in there as well. And then I'm gonna to start to define the top lid a little bit more with some darker values, just a slight bit of black in there. Now our eyes starting to ground and a little bit more believable. Now I'm gonna to start to mix some of the skin tones around the edges, and I'm just using um, red, yellow, brown, and white. Um, these are That's the best way to mix the skin tone. Any skin tone in the world can be created by using those colors and here and there you're going to have to add a little bit of a cool accent color so you might have a little bit of blue in some areas too to create that shadow and then I'm going to let those colors mix together with the white. As I work I'm going to add some of the wrinkles and some of the creases with some dark brown maybe just a slight bit of black as well. Here I'm mixing some more of the skin tone around the edge. And you can use your finger to blend if you want, or a blending stop. With pastel pencils, the blending actually is a little bit minimal. And here I'm going to define that top eyelid just a little bit more. Again, I'm paying attention to the values. And I'm making my skin tones darker in areas by using brown. I'm trying to stay away from the black. That'll make more of a natural shadow. Then I'll go back over and define more of the creases with some lighter values. Wrinkles are not always dark, sometimes they're lighter in value. And really, if you build up the colors, you're gonna create some really complex colors that look nice. So really build up the pastels. Now I'm gonna move on to the eyelashes, and I'm really paying special attention to my photo reference as I'm adding these eyelashes. I'm not really trying to follow the formula too much. And usually eyelashes are usually a little bit longer than you think they should be, so it's okay to go a little bit longer with those. You'll notice on the bottom eyelashes, they skip out from the eye a little bit. And there you have it, quick demonstration. This has been another video tutorial brought to you by the virtualinstructor.com.